Hi and welcome. My name is Eran Bibi and I'm the co-founder and chief product officer at Firefly. Before that, I was the head of DevOps and SaaS platform and Aqua Security. And in today's session, I will share with you my experience of building a successful platform engineering team. When I was joining Aqua Security, we were a relatively small team of engineers. And as a DevOps engineer, my main focus was building a CI-CD pipeline that will able to build and ship the product in, a, in an automated way. But when the times go by and the development team was increasing, we also introduced the SRE function. And the SRE function mail responsibility was about the resilience and the monitoring of the application and making sure we have the right tool in place in order to deploy that in a scale. Aqua became very big and we uh, reached the point where we have more than 100 developers. And then we understand that, that we are slowing down. We have tons of microservices and the developers in the feature team was struggling with find the right tooling in order to make sure the service uh, is ready for production usage. Then we realized that we need to in introduce the platform engineering team. So the idea was to have a cross-function team that will able to provide the right tooling for the feature team to create services and infrastructure and making sure everything is aligned and basically saving the effort from the feature team dealing with ops kind of activities. So the first step was understanding what is the, the job description for the lead of the platform engineering. So I was looking for someone that have backend experience. In my case, I was uh, searching for someone with a Golang and Python experience, but also I would like someone that have cloud engineering and DevOps experience, or at least someone that understanding the concept and the methodologies of DevOps. When I was able to find the right person to lead the team, we sit together to shape the roles and responsibilities of the platform engineering. So what we did is basically sitting with the engineering leads and understanding exactly what are their pains when they need to introduce new service and what, can, what kind of activities can be automated by tools that the platform engineering will provide. And we end up with a subset of few areas that we would like to have investment. One of them was creating a self-service portal. More than that, we would like that platform engineering will be able to provide shared libraries and out-of-the-box template. So anyone that would like to introduce new service will able to take something from the shelf and making sure this is meeting the company standard. So we will enjoy that kind of cross alignment and best practices when creating new stuff into the product. So one of the first assets that the platform engineering will, was able to, to deliver was a self-service portal that we called it the Nebula portal. And the Nebula portal purpose was to have a self-service experience for the developers to create new environments. And because we were working on a multi-cloud landscape, this is something that were very challenging before the self-service portal. So Nebula was a place where anybody from engineering, whether it's the developer or a quality assurance engineer, he was able to pick up any kind of environment and get all the information in an automated way. So for example, if someone won a single VM, you were able to choose in, in which cloud you would like to deploy it. But in more complex cases, like a container as environment, Kubernetes, whether it's a managed Kubernetes on one of the uh, cloud providers or uh, a self-managed Kubernetes, everything was basically engaged, uh, uh, was uh, 
available in the Nebula portal. And the experience was uh, uh, very easy uh, to use. And from the developer perspective, it was a, a life-changing event because instead of understanding uh, the interface of each cloud or um, infrastructure as code kind of tooling, you were able to simply grab anything from the cloud uh, uh, in an automated way. After that, we were able to provide a cloud service API. And the cloud service API was an uh, abstraction layer for the developer to create new services. Behind the scene, we were utilizing infrastructure as code tooling. We were using Terraform models that we created. But, but for the feature team, you just need to have a single a API call to the cloud service API and the infrastructure was ready for him. That were, we, we were able to in drastically increase the, vis the, the velocity of the developers because they save the time of understanding infrastructure as code or the API of the cloud service itself because you just need use the abstraction that we built for them. Later on, where this API was uh, with a lot of options and feature, we decided to wrap it up with a very nice UI that we built using Retool. So Retool was the web interface that we use in order uh, to have a very nice front-end kind of experience for the Cloud Service API. But eventually, it was like uh, uh, a, a product by itself. And it was um, very easy to use, uh, very easy to understand the ownership of each component. And we invest more and more in enriching that API and also enriching uh, uh, the option that we have on Retool. And, and eventually, this piece that we call the Aqua Environment Management was one of the essential pieces in the tool set of the feature team developer. So what next? We decided also to take the further step and implement GitOps. So the platform engineering team was responsible of understanding what kind of GitOps technology to use, whether Flux or Argo, or even to build something in-house. But eventually, this team will uh, get the, the mandate to drive that change of having the GitOps mindset across all of the developers in Aqua. So the idea was that everything will be run through Git. So they were able to use, uh, to deploy infrastructure and the cloud services, but also the monitoring piece and the other stuff that was outside of application, everything through deploying into the master branch. And while I was leaving Aqua, this was still work in progress, but we, we were able to base that strategy of the next gen uh, approach of uh, um, developing services in Aqua. So the last item was uh, sharing with you about how to measure the success of the platform engineering team. So I used few KPIs in order to make sure that we are right on track and the investment that we did of building this team is basically an ROI positive. So one, some of the stuff that we looked at is whether we were able to save developer time. And we did it by comparing the, how much time uh, uh, the average developer spent on uh, ops and DevOps activities comparing to the area after we introduced the platform engineering. More, we would like to see the consumption of the shared libraries and making sure uh, when a developer need to use something that can be shared across team, he will be using some of the packages that the platform engineering uh, 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 create for him. Another stuff that we look at is whether there is a decrease in the number of deployment failures and also eventually, and maybe this is the important uh, item, is whether the development velocity 
was increasing on the, uh, over time. And this, those KPI are relatively easy to track uh, if you are measuring uh, the activities of the team. All to all, I can say that, I can say that my experience of introducing uh, to a growing company uh, the function of platform engineering was a very good decision. And uh, till today, we are uh, Aqua having more and more investment in making sure platform engineering and the concept of platform engineering is well in the, in the organization uh, mindset of the engineering team and Aqua Security. Thank you very much, and I hope it was, you are enjoying uh, this session and you can uh, uh, benefit from uh, one of the, the ideas that I was sharing. You can also get in touch uh, in my mail. I will be happy to answer any question and assist if you have uh, um, the option of building platform engineering. I highly recommend. Thank you very much. Take care.